Ciao, my friends. How are you today? I hope everyone is doing well today. I'm, I'm making this video today because I have uh, some family members of mine that were interested in the carnivore diet and I always try to explain uh, I don't really know even if they watch these videos or not I don't think so but if they do good for you but anyway um, about the carnivore diet what I eat on a carnivore diet and I've already posted many videos about what I eat on a carnivore diet but also they were asking questions about what kind of snacks do I eat on a carnivore diet and you can have many different kinds of snacks on a carnivore diet. For me personally, I don't snack a lot on a carnivore diet. I don't really find the need to snack a lot, but there may be moments or times in, in, in I don't know, not even a week, but in, in your lifetime that you may want to snack or have something to snack on. For example, if I was going out and I wasn't going to eat and I knew that it was going to be a long time before I was going to have my meal, then I might snack on something just to hold me over. But generally, I am not hungry. Being on a carnivore diet is fully satisfying. I don't really feel the need to snack a lot, but also because I'm also on a uh, GLP-1 inhibitor, that also reduces the need for snacking but i understand not everyone is on a glp1 or semi-glutide the the brand name i am on is ozempic so not everyone is on ozempic or needs to be on ozempic but some of the snacking foods that i have for carnivore diets and i will name them all some of them i don't eat at all but and i wrote them down on a piece of paper here so i won't forget the ones that I eat and the ones that you can have. So for example, dried meats. You can have dried meats like uh, beef jerky, turkey jerky, all of these jerkies, but I have a warning or a caution with those. Make sure that you buy clean beef jerky, not ones that contain a lot of uh, sugar and preservatives in it. And it, they're very difficult to find uh, healthy beef jerkies. I like beef jerky a lot. I like the dried meats, but they're very difficult to find. So that's a snacking option and they're easy to take with you. If you can buy them in little packages or buy them in a big package and, and put them in a separate bag or something and take them with you. And if you feel the need to snack on them, they're good that way. Another one that I wrote down was hard boiled eggs. I'm not a fan of eggs, but if I feel the need, yes, I, I will eat one. I'm trying to incorporate more eggs in my diet because they're really a very good, good protein to have. So I don't eat a lot of hard boiled eggs, but once in a while I will try to incorporate them. And if I feel the need to snack, then I will have a hard boiled egg. Another one that I have are pork rinds and bacon. I don't eat pork, so this is not on my food list, but there are a lot of uh, carnivores that have pork rinds and they're crispy little pieces of, they look like chips, potato chips, and when I see them eating them, I think, hmm, they, 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 they sound good, but I don't eat those. And bacon is really a nice option Make sure you also get one that has less preservatives and chemicals in it and no sugar because that's out of the question. But they uh, have healthy bacon that you can get. For me, I like turkey bacon and I try to find a healthy turkey bacon, fry it up and also uh, make them nice and crispy. I like them crispy. You can make them the way that you like, but nice and crispy for me and I can keep them all in the fridge already prepared and if I feel the need to snack then I will go and have a turkey bacon slice and I really really enjoy this so that is oftentimes my go-to snack if I feel the need to snack and also bone broth which is really a nice option it's not something that you can take out with you when you go out 
and about if you're out in the city or out for a walk then you can't really take bone broth with you it's not that easy to take anyway but um, if you're at home and you just want something cozy and warm you can uh, have some bone broth it's very very good also I had uh, bone marrow it's delicious I never thought that I would be the kind of person that would like to eat bone marrow but it is very very delicious and super healthy for you so it makes a nice snack also the one that I like are sliced meats or sliced meat roll-ups I just take the meat I roll it all up and I like to have this beef slices and turkey slices chicken slices they're easy if you buy them already packaged just make sure that you get the healthy clean uh, meats not so many preservatives or chemicals or anything in it but they do make a really healthy option for snacking they're easy to pack and take with you and they're very very uh, yummy another one that i really like is they look like waffles okay I make them myself in my home on a on a waffle maker and really it's just a beaten egg with some uh, grated cheese on it and I prepare them well in advance and it's just egg and cheese that's all you put it on the waffle maker you cook it there it comes out looking like a little round waffle I think you will find it posted somewhere on my Instagram account they're really good for hamburger patties too. You can put a ground beef patty in the middle and I often have that sometimes for lunch. That's my lunch meal. But these little egg waffles, as you will, they're really, really nice to snack on. So that's a good protein. And that's about all, but I do like the turkey bacon and I do like the slices of meat that I roll up and snack on them during during a day or whenever I feel the need to snack which is really isn't very often plus as I said I was on I am on Ozempic and also I do intermittent fasting so my period to eat my window to eat is between 3 p.m. and 9 p.m. so at 3 p.m. I have my lunch and at 9 p.m. I have my dinner but if between this 3 p.m. and 9 p.m. I feel the need to snack, you, you can be sure I might find something beef, beef roll-ups or chicken roll-ups or I will have um, turkey bacon. Those are really my options that I eat because I don't eat really snack a lot. But those are carnivore snacks that you can have when you're following a carnivore diet or a carnivore lifestyle like I like to call it. So if you have any more questions or even some suggestions that you also eat on your carnivore journey, write them in the comment section below. And I would really appreciate a like on the video and a follow. And I wish you all a really great day. And I will see you again soon. Mwah. Tell my friends. Bye bye.